<laughs> what is my definition of the metaverse? Um, this is really hard because I feel like, I mean, it's still being defined. To me, the metaverse is the next internet. It's the internet, but you're in the internet rather than looking at the internet and a lot more uh, interactive rather than pressing keyboards or moving a mouse. It's now going to be about hand gestures and about using your body to interact with content or to, to, to engage with content. Everyone has like a digital identity, especially our generation, like everyone lives on, on internet. We're slowly transposing into this virtual life that we're all living on Instagram, on, on Twitter and stuff like this. There are maybe different characteristics that I, I would define as the metaverse in terms of persistent digital identity where you're able to, you know, play, work, shop and be in on a regular basis, which we already kind of do online, but it's something that's a bit more immersive. We will be using metaverses in the same way that we're using Web2 applications right now. Instead of having Zoom calls, you're going to be in the metaverse having those meetings. A lot of people think that uh, the technology will bring us further apart, but I actually think it'll connect us closer together. Well, there's a revolution going on in rec rooms, offices, and classrooms around the world. A revolution in which 15 million people are taking part. They're sharing scientific data, arguing philosophy, or passing on cooking tips and gossip, night and day through a computer network called Internet. Nobody says, hey, I'm going on cyberspace to google.com. But there for a little while, cyberspace was a catch-all for people who weren't uh, directly involved in the kind of emerging internet ecosystem to say, hey, something big is coming down the line. I can't quite articulate it, but I think it's really uh, important to be able to name it. And that's, that's kind of what the metaverse is. There's a lot of tools, functionality, changes that are coming towards us, and we can feel that energetic momentum. But people don't right now have the, the language to break it into the actual specifics of, of changes, and so it's easier to have an umbrella. The real metaverse really hasn't been fully realized yet. It's, it's going to be like the internet, where you'll be able to uh, go into various metaverses, but there will be one centralized metaverse uh, that isn't controlled by anyone. It's controlled by the people, which uh, is really actually really intriguing to me. It's basically the sum of all virtual experiences, frequently connected to real world experiences. We're probably dealing with more of a series of metaverses than a single metaverse. I think probably the best example of a metaverse right now could well be, you know, video games like Fortnite. You know, as these other forms of entertainment and other forms of activity start to come into these worlds, it's probably no longer only a video game. Think about sports events, gaming events, musical, concerts, comedian shows of any sort, these things are going to be happening in the metaverse and the people that own the spaces are going to be the ones that build the future and also probably profit. <laughs> A lot of the metaverse will be powered by Web3. Web1 was the static websites that you, you saw on AOL or you had dial up internet and you go there and you read a few things and then you kind of leave. Web 2 was this evolution of these different services and apps. That's when the iPhone came out. That's when apps like Uber and Airbnb came out and it's you know improved our lives significantly, made things more convenient. Web 3 is this idea that the internet itself is evolving. People are taking back control. We are in the middle of a digital renaissance and all different sectors of creation, they're all gonna explode in enabling young people with great ideas to make a living doing so. It's not just about you know, applications and data, right? It's about creativity and art. And it's really cool, you know, being me, being a technologist and entrepreneur, is that I get to work with artists all day, right? I get to look at art, create these cool mechanics, you know, and just really think about, you know, what the world wants. There's gonna be people who pave the way and there's gonna be learning along the way. And I think that's the big, thing right now is people are just exploring. This is kind of the shift from, you know, mobile computing, the internet into uh, Web3, which will permeate throughout our daily lives and uh, will affect almost everyone in the world.